YouTube, my name is Ron, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I decided to bring you guys another one of those uh, cool effects videos. I did one a while back, and it did pretty good, so I figured I'd do another one today. So, also, real quick, before I go any further, if you guys see my sister's music, she's taking a shower, like, right across from me. And she's, like, completely blasting music at 10.23 p.m., so... Yeah, um, I'm just gonna go through some effects that I've been doing on this edit that I'm doing for a guy. Uh, I'll just like quickly preview this real quick. That's what I got so far, and I'm just going to go through some effects that I have on there. If you guys want to see some of the uh, gun color effect type stuff, I love doing color type stuff. It's just, I don't know why, I think it looks cool. Like, right here, this. Change, it actually did change this too, I didn't mean for that to happen, but it's fine. And then this one was just like all out colors all around the gun, on the gun. Yeah, and then, actually, I'm just going to go through, like, not only effects, but what I do in my edits. Uh, like how I sync them and like what, what type of beat pumps I use. I use all kinds of different beat pumps and like microphone shaking for some reason. Actually, let me bring this down a little bit. Down here. I didn't change it. But you guys might have seen right here. Kind of shakes and it's just a simple effect. But I'll go over that in a second. Um, syncing. There's two types of way I sync just depending on like how I want to go I have a more of a this pe people use this more in like cinematics or frag edits it's more of like a smooth uh, smooth type of uh, sync and it's more sl like it's more like slow than it is fast but like the like like the um, the smooth fade is more of a fast one which I use throughout most of the edit uh, but yeah also over here, you can see that I, I have labeled stuff that I need to put in here still. I'm gonna do that real quick so you guys can see how I do it. Um, I got, I just got some, uh, I got some cinematics. Here's the shock charge one. Um, maybe not the shock charge one. Does this one work? None of these recorded all the way through, dude. I swear. My oh god, it was so messed up. Okay, so this is what I talk about, like the cinematic, cinematic types scene. I normally always drop it down to 50, go about towards the edges, not really that far. I don't know what the frick is going on over here. Um. And I'll just drag up both ends all the way. And I'll right click, do the first one fast, and then the other one slow so it has like a type of bowl look to it. I'll just preview this real quick. So it looks like that. But I also want to make sure, like, I don't want also. Also, my cinematics, you can see like how the cinematic bars are like low on the clip. Well, on the cinematics, I always like to make them big again, so. Restore. One, two, three, four. Grab my old one. And paste that in there. Up. And then after that's gone. One, two, three, four. And then I'll just put it back to where it was. All, on all my beat pumps, I don't go in very far. I, I normally go in about that far. Normally a little bit smaller every now and then. Depend, just depends on the song. So. Um, one, two, three, four. And like, hang on. Let me just, let me do this real quick. I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay. So on each beat, I'll like... On HP, I'll put on the marker where I want the uh, 
the beat of the beat. Like so. Say on the first one I have it, I'll just go in plus in plus. And then every time I'll go to this to the one after the beat, like this is your first beat. I'll go to the second one, go back one, two, three, four, I'll go back four, click restore, and then right click on it and go to slow. And do the same for both. And slow. And then it'll look like this. It's okay, I guess. It's not bad. I don't like my hair. I don't know what's up with it. Okay. <laughs> right, so on to, like, the effects. Um, don't you guys know how I sync and how I do my cinematic bars and how I do my beat pumps? I didn't show you guys the shake. The shake's easy. I'll do that. Like, I'll do beat pumps in, like, a complete tutorial because there's all kinds of different ways you can do it. But... Onto the effects. Um, how I did this effect, how the gun just changes, is actually really simple. Uh, here's the clean plate. Uh, you just need a you just need a clean copy of the clip, and then you're gonna copy the clean part atop atop of the clean, and put on cookie cutter and HLS adjust, and then just kind of mask out the gun very roughly with the. Uh, cookie cutter and then after you have it all messed out you can see where the point is here I'll just all right you can see that's what it looks like when you're first like masking it you see how it follows after you do all that you just feather it out and then turn back the, up the opacity on the second one I always put saturation all the way up uh, some people like to leave it at the normal saturation I'll turn it up because it just gives it more brightness every now and then I'm uh, every now and then I kind of do uh, put on two just for extra saturation and that'll look like this actually I kind of like that I might do that yeah I'm gonna leave that and what happens if I look at some wacky colors and then I'm gonna go to the end I'm gonna go backwards so it's just like, it looks the same, but yeah, it just gives it a lot more. It makes it pop out more. So that's it for that uh, effect. On to the next one, which is basically the same thing, but a little bit more hard. Uh, you see how I use cookie cutter again, and I just did the exact same thing. I just masked out it with cookie cutter. Turn up the just. I did the same thing on the last one, and on the bottom one, I added an, an S glint, and you can guys can uh, copy down these settings, pause the video if you needed. I'm just gonna scroll through it really slowly. Uh, those are all my settings, and then for hue shift, I start at the beginning, go all the way up, and then go about halfway, which is about right there. Go all the way through, and then go to the end and go back. So, and then you'll this. I actually forgot to add saturation to this clip. Let me do that real quick. So, we'll, see the, we'll see the saturation. I just like adding saturation to everything. And then you can also add a hue to this one. It'll make it, it'll give it more cool colors. I kind of forgot to do that also. Yeah. I like that better. It looks, it looks, this looks wacky. It looks cool though, in my opinion. On this top one, add another HLS adjust. HLS adjust, not H. Um, saturation. I don't need that. I just need saturation. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I don't think it was long, but I just needed to pop. I just needed to get a video for tomorrow because I missed. See, missed today's upload because I didn't have a video. I don't think I, I don't think I missed yesterday's upload. But yeah, only only missed uh, today's upload, which will be yesterday's upload for you guys. So I'm doing good. I'm stay. I'm I'm keeping up with YouTube. But yeah, that's been it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my for more videos. And that's been it. Peace.
Okay, co okay, so I'm kind of editing the video right now. I just listened to my outro, but I didn't listen to it. I'm editing. I just got to my outro part, and I just realized how weak, how weak my piece was. So I have to do my outro again. I'm sorry. It's just, like, I just said piece regularly. No, I can't do that, okay? You don't understand. Okay, so you guys ready for this? I am. All right, here we go. That has been it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to me for more new videos. That's it. Peace!